Okay guys, so in this video we're going to be converting a shop light that uses a T8 fluorescent bulb. We're going to convert this to use a T8 um, LED light tube from Hyper Icon. I'm actually going to be uh, using this tube right here. And this is, like I said, from Hyper Icon. Uh, it is a 5000K. Uh, it's 8 watt. And um, it's a T8. And it's got the clear lens on it. You can get these in frosted, and as well as different uh, Kelvin ratings, different color temperatures. But that's the one I like. Uh, the 5000K has a really nice, crisp white light that I like. The clear lens, I think, lets out maximum light. But if you like the frosted, they have them too. Um, you are going to need a few tools uh, to do this job on this particular light. Uh, other lights will have different uh, tools you probably need. These smaller T8 light fixtures are pretty simple. Um, you're going to need some uh, wire nippers, wire cutters, uh, also a stripping tool to strip the, the wires. Uh, this particular light needs an um, 11 30 second socket to take the ballast off. I like to use some tape, uh, good quality tape, electrician tape, and then uh, some wire nuts. And I like to tape the wire nuts just to make a secure connection. So anyway, let's get to tearing the light apart. You're going to have to go in here and take the ballast out to be able to run those LED lights. Uh, first thing you're going to do, unhook the light from power. You do not want that uh, plugged in or however your light is. If it's wired in, you got to unhook it. This light here, like I said, these smaller T8s are um, pretty simple lights. This cover just snaps. Just snaps off like that. And then inside, this is where you are going to see the ballast right here. And all your wiring connections are in here. So look inside the light here. Um, because this is just a single lamp, there's just uh, you know two wires going to this side. You've got your ballast right here. You've got two wires going to that side. And then you've got your connections here. I had to add this plug. This light didn't come with uh, any kind of cord, so I had to add that cord. So that's what that is. The green there is ground, grounded to the light there. But uh, you, you get instructions with these tubes from Hyper Icon. Uh, you can you know take a look at them, read them over. But it's really simple to convert these guys. Uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to cut the ballast out. And then you take this side, and then you're going to connect that to the white wire on your plug. And then you're going to take the other side, and you're going to wire it to the black wire on the plug. Uh, don't really matter which side you go with. Just to make it easy, one side goes to the white wire, the other side goes to the black wire. Very simple. I'm going to... Uh, Cut the ballast out. I'm just going to cut the wires here and here and there as close to the ballast as I can to give me maximum length so I have enough to make connections. Most of the time these lights come with enough wire to be able to make the connections without adding wire. Um, depends on your light again. Some lights may need some extensions but uh, most every one, I think I've only run into one light that was short but every other light I found uh, seems to have enough wire. So I'm going to cut this ballast out. Um, it is bolted in right there. That's why we needed that socket. And then it just slides out. So like I said, I'm going to pull the ballast out here. It's got a nut. It'll pull out, and then, like I said, 
I'm going to just cut the wires real close to the ballast so that gives me maximum wires to use in the conversion here. This ballast junk. Throw it in the garbage. Old technology guys. LED is the way to go. So here you can see we've got um, more than enough wire on this side to go to um, the white of the black wire and then this side here again plenty of wire to be able to wire this other side to the other wire. Okay so I'm just stripping the ends of the wires off to be able to wire nut these together. You don't need a fancy wire stripper to do that. You can just do that with a plain old one. But anyway, I got the blue wires from this side going to the black. And then I'm going to wire nut all these together. You're going to want to get the right gauge wire nut for the, the gauge wire you, you're using. And make sure that you're getting a good connection. And when you put these wire nuts on, you want to make sure all your, your wires have connected together and one is not loose in there. You need them all tight, you need them all uh, connecting and then I like to run my tape around here is really I don't it's not that necessary I like to make sure that my connection is not going to fall off and I ain't going to have live power touching all the metal but um, it's just that simple uh, make sure you get the right size wire nut for the gauge wire that you have and I've already connected the red which is the other side to the white wire so everything is connected and I'm just tucking all my wires in here so they're out of the way, they don't get pinched. I can uh, seal it back up. We're going to get the bulb, we're going to stick it in here, plug it in, see if it works. Okay, you got my bulb here. Uh, you're going to notice the, the lights come with these little uh, protectors on the little pins on each side. I uh, just pull them off there. There's one on each side. Again, that's just there to protect the lights during shipping. Just slide it down in the slot. You want to turn it. You'll hear it snap on both sides there. We got the bulb in there. Now let's plug it in see if she works. Okay, so let's plug it in. See what happens. There we go, guys. Simple as that. Uh, this conversion is really easy. I know when you get the instructions and you start reading the instructions over, it kind of seems like uh, it's really complicated, but it really ain't. Like I said, one side goes to the white wire on your plug, the other side goes to the black wire on your plug, and simple as that. Okay, so there it is installed, and this particular two-foot T8 light fixture is actually above our grinders, and it's uh, you know way better than that fluorescent. Like I said, I love that 5000K, nice crisp white light. Really allows a person to be able to see uh, really good, and uh, way better than that fluorescent light. And so you get better light. Also, LED draws less power. That ballast is gone. You're not uh, drawing near as much power. So it's a win-win situation. So I guess that's going to do it for this one, guys.